Hello everybody and welcome back to The Revival, our Football Manager 2017, 2017, 2017, I can say words, series where we try and get Paderborn back promoted to the Bundesliga where they once were and now after successive promotions they find themselves in the third division of German football and our, our ambition is to try and take them back into the Bundesliga. Now as I said last time, the game we'll be playing today is not actually a league game, it is a cup game again against Bayer Leverkusen. I thought it was important to do this one because it is our first kind of test against a top tier, top level German football team. They're actually first in the Bundesliga as well. So I am expecting us to get slightly demolished here, I'm going to be honest. We are playing at home, but I, I just I see this being quite a heavy defeat for us. So when we last, last met, it was the game against Regensburg where we had a very disappointing 2-1 loss. I was really annoyed with that, really disappointed. We then followed up with an equally disappointing one all draw against Lotte. Uh, managed to pick things up slightly against Bremen, managed to score Four goals, we managed to concede three as well, but away from home against a second uh, reserve side on a top tier football team was not bad at all. We then played uh, a couple of friendlies during the winter break, which takes place in Germany. Uh, managed to win two of them, lost the third against Augsburg, who are, I think they're in the Bundesliga, yeah. They're in the Bundesliga, so not too much of an issue there. Fortunately, we then lost to Chemnitz uh, coming off the winter break, which was, again, a really annoying result. If we have a look at the stats... Uh, no way we should have lost this one, really. Quite an even game, but still should have really been winning that game. We followed that up, though, with a decent win against Osnabrück. 3-0 there. Uh, you'll notice one of the scores. We'll go through that in a second. And then beat Frankfurt, Ehrenbrook, 2-1. I know I said pretty much everything wrong. I still can't pronounce things properly. I do apologise. Now, as I mentioned, it was the winter break, which also means it was the transfer window. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money. We have a little bit to spend now because we sold a player at the very end of the transfer window, but I didn't really want to be spending too much money at this stage. So the only signing we made, we sold uh, Marcus Piasek, who, to be honest, I didn't realise was at the club. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. It came up with a thing saying he wants to leave the club, and I just sat there and thought, I don't know who this is. So it made sense to sell him. Got £100,000 for him, which isn't bad at all. Uh, we managed to bring in Donis, and I, I did practice his name, and then I forgot. Donis, Abdi, da, is it Abdial or da, Abdijal? I, I believe one of them sounds like an L. I'm not quite sure. I'll call him Donis. I might call him Dennis. Let's call him Dennis from now on. So another attacking midfielder or a striker, but, you know, you look at his stats, definitely a really good quality player. He's a four-star player, which means he's good enough for the second division in German football. But we've managed to get him here. Flair, 17. Agility, 17. You know, dribbling, 14. First touch, 15. Very technically... Uh, gifted player. Doesn't quite have the physicality of some of my other players, but the, the quality he brings to the side is very important. Now, I'm going to have to go through the squad, and I'm going to go through ability-wise and put who I know are the best players on uh, ready for this match. I, I did mean to set this up before, but I, I kind of I kind of forgot, to be honest. In all the excitement, I kind of forgot to do that. So we're actually going to make one difference here. We're going to play... Uh, no, I'll play... I can't not play Zacco Dedic, to be honest. Um... In fact, I might go for a change of tactic, to be honest. Again, I should have set this all up. I think I'm going to go for this counter-attacking style. I played this in one game. I think it was the Verd Bremen game. I tried it out. And it did work fairly well. I mean, we conceded three goals, but we managed to score four. So we'll go with this. He can play... Um, actually, who's better? Is it Donis on the left, or can Yuchenko play? No, he can only play in the middle. So uh, what foot is he? See, I, I don't know anything. It has been a while since i played the save, in fairness to me. So he's going to play on the left-hand side, uh, which means we'll put Ismail Azui on the right-hand side. Uh, Bertel's at left-back. Who are my other... Where's... I feel like I'm missing players, which is quite impressive. There's Pascal. Uh, so we don't have the strongest squad, obviously. And I, as I said, I am expecting us to lose this, lose this quite heavily. But I thought, even so, you know, it's our first game against where we're hoping to be. So it's going to be a good tester. It's going to be a good way to test the waters, to see how good we really are, or rather how bad we actually are. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see this result. So that's the team all nice and set up. I do... Okay, I don't need to change anything, actually. I'm going to change both of these to inside forwards, actually, on a support duty to try and really attack the Leverkusen side, if we can. And that's going to be it. So we'll go through the team. Uh, we have Lucas Cruz playing in net, Pascal Itter, Christian Strodhaik, Tim Sebastian, and Thomas Battels in defence. Dorsch and Kruska, if I might... No, I'll keep them the same, actually. Kruska's better as a ball-winning ball midfielder. So, Kruska and Dorsch in midfield. Ismail Azui on the right-hand side. Yachenko in the middle. And Avidial, or Derek, uh, Don, uh, Donis, who was Dennis, that's the one, Dennis. I was trying to remember what nickname I gave him. Dennis on the left-hand side, and Dedic up front. Ah, that's going to get confusing, though. We've got Dedic and Dennis. That's, I'm going to mix those up. We'll go for it anyway. 
So we're going to get straight into the match. No point wasting any time whatsoever because we are expecting a loss. But, well, it should be an entertaining game anyway, even if we don't manage to score a goal. Even if we get humiliated, it should be a fairly exciting match. So let's get straight into it and see how we do. Um, I'm going to let the assistant take the team talk and individual team talks. So these are the instructions. I'll leave them on screen for a moment. I'm not going to talk through them all. It, I, I think I've mentioned this formation before. It is on the Steam Workshop. I've made a couple of adjustments, I think. But I can't quite remember if I did. But this is the tactic we're going to be playing. So we'll get straight into it. See how we do. As you can tell, I might not sound like super excited about this episode. I, it's been a long time since I've played the Paderborn save. So I'm kind of trying to uh, like catch up myself. And, and try and remember what's been going on so far in the series. And try and get sort of reinvigorated to do this series. There was a long time where I just didn't really feel like playing it, to be honest. So I'm trying to get that kind of passion for it back. So we have a chance here. Kruska plays it into Dench, and we've taken the lead after 15 minutes. Well, that's one way to get me back interested in the series, it's fair to say. That's a unexpected goal so early on. It's going to take a while to load the highlights, as always. But we are 1-0 ahead of a Bundesliga side, which, more than that, the current Bundesliga wins. I think they're only ahead on goal difference, but still, they are top of the table. So... To score any sort of goal is impressive, but that was a very good team goal, and I feel like possibly this might be the formation to go with, based on just that one little passage of play. That was kind of exactly what I've been looking for from my side. We have had a bit of a difficult run-in. We'll watch it again here. Yachenko on the left-hand side, played it inside. Dorsch was there. Little one-touch pass there. Kruska again with a one-touch pass. Dedic, one-touch finish, one-touch of football all over the place, and it was really sort of skillful and fluid football, which is what we like to see. So... Hopefully we can hold on to it for a little bit, this lead. I don't think we'll be able to hold on too long. We have another highlight here. Leverkusen with a throw in their own half, though. And they're playing around the defence. Leno here picks it up. Jonathan Tarr now plays it out to Bellarabi. Is he going to be able to get past our left-back? He does. Bertels just gets absolutely demolished down that left-hand side. Crosses it in. Sebastian, though, with a brilliant clearance there. Crossed back in, though, and Cruz picks it up. Good good defending all around, apart from Bertels there, who got sort of mugged on that left-hand side. Or right-hand side, even. My left. They're right. I, I don't know. Hernandez, though, picks up. Bellarabi's in again. Cruz with a good save. Bellarabi and oh, plays it into Hernandez. I was going to say Bellarabi left a, a bit too late to get the finish in there, but managed to cross it across to Hernandez, who everyone just abandoned, basically. There's no marking going on there. Where is Hernandez? He's right there. Not a single player. Pascal attempts it, but doesn't even jump for the header. And a simple finish. Javier Hernandez will not miss chances like that. I think we're going to go for a more structured style, to be honest, and try and hold on a little bit more. Try and be a bit more sort of... Uh, well, structured, basically. A bit more solid, that's the word I was looking for. They have a throw in now, though. Bellarabi, cross it in again. Cruz managed to hold it this time. Can he find Dedic? Dedic doesn't win the header. Jonathan Tarr does. Back out to Bellarabi, who's been a pain in our side so far. Volland here. Kevin Volland doesn't find the target, though. But Bellarabi is proving very, very difficult to handle. Where is Bellarabi? He's there. We're going to try and show him on his weaker foot. And we are going to try and mark him a bit tighter. So he can't pick up the ball and run at us. Try and have someone marking him tightly. Uh, so that's half time. That kind of went through quite quickly, to be honest. I'm going to certainly say uh, we can grab that one goal that will win us the game. Uh, Azui looking complacent, as per usual. That's kind of the standard. I was very tempted, to be honest, to cancel his loan in January, but he's, he's a talented player. It's just a shame about his sort of mentality and his attitude. Definitely not a player we'll be looking to sign permanently at any point. But it's a shame that he kind of can't match the skill with the attitude. As Campbell here picks it up, plays it to Havertz, up to Volland, down to Hernandez. Good tackle by Sebastian then to clear it. But by Levy, he's going to build from the back again. Down this left-hand side now, plays it inside to Campbell. Now Hernandez, Volland on it again. Plays it out. Hernandez is there, managed to clear it, plays to Volland. Uh, it was ping-pong in the middle, they managed to head it down to Kevin Volland, who made no mistake. And after a brilliant start, we're starting to show why we're in the third division. I mean, look at this defending. Just... Defenders running around all over the place. No one no one picking up Volant at all. You've got about... How many players is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine players are in the box. And not a single one of them could close down Kevin Volant. That's pretty embarrassing, to be honest. So I'm going to make some changes. A couple of players not having good games. So we obviously not, as usual. Let's so replace him with Mark uh, Vukanovic. Uh, and we'll bring on Karazor for Dorsch because he's having a poor game as well. We'll leave it that, like that for now. We may make a few more changes later on, but we'll stick with this now. To be honest, a 2-1 loss, not disappointing, really. I mean, it was disappointing in the fact we took the lead, but we're always expecting to get pretty humiliated. So to have scored a goal and kept them at 2-1 is not bad at all. They've made a couple of changes. 
I'll make a last change, see who's sort of tired, who's who's lagging a bit. Tim Sebastian is going to come off for... Oops, wrong one. Uh, let's get the right player for Lucas Boda. Just keep him nice and fresh for the league games coming up. Because we are kind of going into the running now, the last few games of the season. So I want to keep me, keep my players fit and my squad ready to go at any time. As we are in the last minute of the game now, this will probably be the last highlight. Yuchenko now to Karazor. Bertels, we really need to be pumping it forward. We didn't quite manage to. But it's fine. I mean, are they going to score another goal here? Not quite. Managed to clear it there. Strodhike with a good header ahead of Hernandez. But if you look at the stats, we definitely deserve to lose this game. And based on the quality of the teams... Leverkusen, we're always going to win the, this one. I'm going to calmly say uh, we can't fault their efforts. They did very well, to be honest, to keep it a 2-1. Had a couple of chances as well. Uh, scored the first goal as well. We had 2-1 target. Not great, but still pretty happy with that result. Obviously disappointed to go out of the cup, but overall not too sad. We also gained £453,000 for the loss. We also gained six, that, 600000 for TV rights. So we've made a million pounds just on one game, which... For, you know, for a club of our financing situation, not bad at all. Where are the fans, actually? Uh, I've forgotten how to play this game. There we are, right at the bottom. So as you can see, profit for this season, over a million pounds for this season. So that really helps our overall balance. That's actually half our overall balance in one month. So not bad at all. Now, as I said, we are coming to kind of the running of this season. Going towards the end of the season, I think I'm going to play two more games. I'll play the last game of Regensburg. Maybe Haller and Regensburg. But we did that already, didn't we? That went badly wrong, didn't it? So, possibly we'll play those last two games, or maybe just the last game. Before then, though, I think we'll take on Rostock away from home, possibly. I don't think I've played Rostock before. Uh, and it gives us kind of a long time to go. Uh, in fact, we might play uh, Mayhem instead. Yeah, we'll play Mayhem instead. Uh, a bit sort of right in the middle, basically, of you know, the game we just played and the last game. So, that'll be the next game. And that wraps up this episode. If you haven't done the episode, please do feel free to leave a like. If you want to, I mean, it is you know, completely optional. It's not compulsory to leave a like. It is always appreciated. If you want to see more from the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.